Hey guys, welcome back. If you're like me and you're on Mac OS and you need to install Windows software that require access to a physical device like a USB port, that would be really hard to do it on a Mac OS. You could use VirtualBox, for example, and pass the USB device to the VirtualBox and then VirtualBox is going to pass it to the, the guest OS, which in this case is Windows. But unfortunately, I'm on Apple M1 Silicon. And there is no way I can install VirtualBox and VirtualBox is not going to be ported soon to Apple M1 Silicon. So my only option to run a Windows software is actually using Wine. Wine Emulator is the only one that I could use on macOS to run Windows-based software. Today, I'm going to show you how you can actually pass or give Wine access to the physical device. In this case, I have a USB to serial port within this OBD2 emulator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, I'm on a Mac system right now. So first thing I want to do is download the software for my Freematic OBD2 emulator. So I just need to Google Freematics download. And I believe this second link has it. Yes, that's correct. So let's scroll and find the graphical user interface software. As you can see, there's only Windows or Ubuntu Linux download and there's no Mac OS version of it. Let's give it some time for the download to finish. All right, there you go. And now, we got to install it right here. Just put it on a desktop. Now I'm gonna fire up Play on Mac. So Play on Mac is is a, actually a wine based emulator. So it's really nice because it is packaged with a graphical user interface. So you don't have to go to uh, install wine manually over the command line. And now I'm gonna install um, on a new virtual machine, virtual drive, and I call it Freematics OBD2 and leave it as default. 32 bits Windows is fine. Let's give it a minute. And by the way, by running Wine, you don't need to install any Windows OS at all. All right, let's browse for the installer. Double click that. Hit next. And there you go. Now the installation begins. All right, let's hit finish. And as you can see, the status is connected and there's an error message, a pop-up message saying that it doesn't know where to find the emulator. All right, let's close this and give it some time. So Play on Mac is trying to scan on the virtual drive for any executable. So in this case, let's choose the graphical user interface. So it's kind of creating a shortcut for you and hit next. And at this point, I don't want to install any, any more shortcuts. So I just click that and hit next. All right, there you go. So I got a Freematics here. So um, let's see. Um, if you want to see where the device is, you want to go to just ls uh, it's on the library so your home folder library play on mac um one prefix and dust devices sorry prematics obd2 that's the virtual drive and dust devices now let me plug in the uh, my obd emulator go and Plug into the USB port, as you can see there. Now let's browse 
where this device in on the host. There you go. So that's that is called tty.usb serial dash 001. So now I'm gonna create a symbolic link slash so def tty usb serial 001. Okay, that's s as a symbolic link. Sorry about that. To library play on Mac one prefix. Or is that uh, three matics ob2 and those devices let's call it i don't know com4 and hit enter and that's going to create a symbolic link to the actual device okay let's hit uh prematics graphical user interface and see if it works And there you go, it's connected. You can see the status connected. You can hit the ignition on and off and the device is responding. Connect, disconnect, it works just fine. You can change the engine RPM and yeah, seems like everything works as expected. I hope this video is helpful to you. I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Happy hacking.